Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to our channel. Um, this is a very different video. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys things that I've been getting for our new baby and um, how we're we preparing for that. Baby girls, because now we know it's a girl, it's gonna be born in September. So we're in what, May, June, July, August. So we got like three months and a half, almost four months to get everything ready. Um, we decided to start buying stuff since the beginning. We found out we were pregnant just because we didn't want it to be things like last minute and just like running crazy and like, oh, we need this, we don't have this or things like that. Also because I'm gonna be working through my whole pregnancy. As you guys, as you guys know, I don't know if I've shared this before, I am a, I work in the medical field. So I decided that I wanna keep working because I, I just don't see myself like at home every day and like just doing anything. I, like I think I'll get like depressed or something, I don't know. So I decided to work through my whole pregnancy as well, like having a baby is expensive and I don't wanna leave like all the the workload and everything and like, you know, expenses to my husband. So yes, so before we find out, we currently, I mean, um, we just found out that we're having a girl, I'm gonna say like five days ago. So I don't have really much girl stuff. Pretty much what we have been buying is um, gender neutral stuff, but um, yes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this video. I don't think it's a lot, but maybe it is a lot, but I don't think so. We're still missing like all the things because we do wanna make like a nursery. So we still need a couple things to uh, complete that. But so far, let me go ahead and show you what I got. The first thing that I got are these um, dividers. These, you hang them in the closet. So they go from newborn um, all the way to 18 to 24 months, I believe. So I like them, they're wood, and I just think they look really cute. The next thing that I got are these velvet hangers. I just think they're so cute. They're in like in a cream color. They're super soft. They're tiny. I mean, you might not look, they're tiny. They're cute, they're tiny, and I love them. It also like, the clothes don't slip because of the bubble material. Okay, this is like my favorite thing. Um, I got this in newborn. Oh, isn't this so cute? This is like the first clothes that I ever bought for her. Um, oh, it is so cute. I've been dividing like all the months and the seasons so I know like okay when she's like six to nine months it's gonna be winter when she's like nine to twelve it's gonna be like summer and stuff like that so this is when she's a newborn so newborn is gonna be September October November um, I think September is still like kind of warm not that cold so I think this will be perfect for her to wear like on my birthday or like I don't know I just think it's so cute and adorable I got it at Target though because we got a gift, gift card from there. Okay, I also got these three um, newborn onesies. They're just simple, but I plan to get even more just because I know this is like super um, basic, but the thing is like I've heard and my mom told me that newborns and babies go through clothes a lot. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like buy cute stuff for her when we go out or go like family dinners or something but just to lay around at home and sleep and everything i just think this is just essential they have these um maidens i think that's what it's called so yeah it's three of these and pretty much i have them hang like this for her and then i really like this one this is like a pajama, I think that's what it's called. It is from Kite Baby. It's three to six months. I've heard a lot of things about this brand. Good things and pretty much good things. So I wanna try it out first before going crazy and buying like 10 of these. Um, I decided to go in this color because when I bought it, I 
didn't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl so i was like, okay white you can't go wrong with white um i like the material don't get me wrong it is it is soft but it's more thinner than even the other ones that i'll show you guys but so far um i really like it it's really cute but so far i think baby girl is going to love this one um yeah it's just cute it was i think 36 dollars so i mean it's really thin though like it's super thin i don't know if you can see but like it's really thin it's a really thin material i think it's um let me see i saw it here it's made of 97 percent bamboo so yes really like this one super cute oh this one it was the only one left and it was from 12 months but i was like whatever i searched up my calendar what the season was gonna be when she was like 12 12 months to like 18 months so this was perfect because it was gonna be i think summer so i got this one isn't this so cute i love it i got it at target as well look this is the material it has like this flowers and it looks so fresh and like not like it's gonna be really like um it's not like it's gonna be like a really hot material for her it's pretty much what i have for clothes like i told you before i don't have too much stuff just yet i plan to buy everything and maybe like july june july yeah maybe like in july um because right now i've been searching for stuff for her like from newborns through three months through the six months when it's gonna be three to six months it's gonna be winter and there's nothing everything that i found right now it's like for warm weather so we don't want that okay oh this is so cute these are her cumbers because now we know it's for her these are her cumbers oh they're so cute and um we wanted to go with white ones because we didn't know if it's gonna be a boy or girl and you can wear this i mean baby girl can wear this with dresses anything i just think that you can't go wrong with a white pair of cumbers so yes i got them in let me see the size which i have no idea when they're gonna fit her um they're size four so I don't know when she will wear size four, but this is her first pair of shoes. Okay, so the next thing that I've gotten is these um, pacifiers. I got it from the bad brand Bibs in a size one, which is from zero to six months. It's called Baby Beginners. They're this beautiful like blush pink and this cream color. I really like this um let me see they're available in three sizes um they're produced from natural rubber latex um and they also have a round nipple just like the mom breast so i heard good things about these ones so i'm excited for these i hope she likes them of course i'm gonna buy more but this is like what i got so far um i also got these silicon teething bracelets i love the color they're also like blush pink and this like kind of greenish they're from the brand mushi um yeah they're just like this so she can grab you know whenever she's teething and i just think they're cute and then also from the brand mushi i got this stacking stacking tower um so she can play with with it it says that while stacking the pieces it would help them develop their organization and motor skills so this is what i decided to buy them let me go ahead and show them to you the colors are really 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 pretty they're like this like blush pink material i also have these signs in here and i just think they're cute i love them can't wait for her to be able to play with them you know do all that good stuff babies do <laughs> oh 
Oh, and then I saw this book and I knew I had to buy it, buy it for her. Um, it's called Dream Big Little One. And it just talks about a lot of women that have accomplished a lot of things. Like the first woman that went all the way to space. And like the first woman that helped send a man to the moon. Like, you know, stuff like that. So, I just think it's just so cute. I found it, I think it was a Target. But isn't this cute? Like, like the first woman that ran for president. Like... I love this one and in the back it says dream big little one there's so much you can do just look at all the leaders who came before you oh can't wait um okay ching ching okay I'm gonna go with this ones these are the bottles that we decided that we're gonna go for these are the nano baby I don't know how to say it this is the name of the brand no baby, I don't know if you can see it. Um, these are made of these are silicon bottles, mom like softness from a natural feeding experience. Right now we only have this package of three, but let me go ahead and show them to you. And I really, really, really like them. Hope she likes them because of course, we are planning to buy maybe like a Dr. Brown ones as well and like other brands. But these are the ones that we want to teach her or like to implement for her to use. Um, yeah, these are the bottles. They're silicone. You can squeeze them and everything. Then you open them. This is that. And over here it shows you the ounces. Yes, this is what we got so far for her. On that note, um, this bag. So the next thing that I have here, oh, are these Dr. Brown Fresh First Silicone Feeder. So this says four months and up. So let me show you what are these. Let me see. I like open the package already. So in the package, you get two of them. One is like gray, the other one is green. Um, oh, they're not open. And don't worry, I'm gonna sterilize everything. Baby girl is here and ready to use. Okay, so what I've seen people do in this, either you like put like your breast milk and then put it in the freezer. And it do says that they're freezer friendly. I mean, that's the main purpose. You can put a strawberry or you can put anything you want inside and they're like this I don't know if you can see it these silicones and it has these little holes so whenever she's like feeding and she wants you know I've heard that cold things relieve their um, pain I'm gonna say um, so yes then you I guess you open it like this and then put either breast milk or a fruit or something just for them to be chewing out. And it gives them some natural flavor. And she can just hold it like this. I thought this was really, really a necessity. I heard that when babies are teething, um, they can get a little bit fussy. So we are trying to prevent that. The next thing that I have here is this milk powder container and it's from the brand Termichi. I don't know if you can see it there. Termichi. And um, this one is really, really cute. I really like it. I got it like for on the go whenever um, she goes to her grandma's or we go somewhere. And it's, it's not that big, it's not that like spacious, but it's perfect just for the right amount. I think it's a really, really good size, personally. Um, you open it like this, and then it has the little scoop that goes here. And then you open it, and you do have plenty of space, I wanna say. So, yes, this is for on the go, whenever we have to go somewhere. 
and we have to take her milk so we're not carrying the whole bottles you know what i'm saying like the whole formula container container so we're not carrying the whole container so we have these and um let me see okay the next thing that i have are these bottle brushes and sponge that's what it says it is from the brand munch munchkin <laughs> that brand um yeah so it has it also has a nipple brush in the handle and they're just i guess normal brushes i haven't even opened them but yes so so we can you know rinse the bottles before we put them in the washer whatever thingy okay the next thing that this was a present um our aunt gave it to us well my husband's aunt but she's like my aunt um it is gripe water what is this for oh okay i heard about it but i never thought like what what gripe water was because in spanish this word means like when you have like the flu or something so i was like what okay but it says it relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas colic fuzziness and hiccups oh hey this is really cool i haven't even opened it let me see okay so Okay, and it expires until 2023. So I was like, let me see when it expires, okay? So this is the bottle and this is the syringe. So all of this comes in this bottle. And what else? Okay, we also, I bought one of these and I got gifted one of these as well. And it's this um, butt base. This is like... I, I told I was told that this is like a must have when you have a newborn um, you know because diapers and stuff like that and it's this bottle it is two ounces I don't know if there's like bigger bottles but I already have two which I know I'm gonna need more but this is for now on oh my god I'm so excited I'm doing this video I love it I didn't realize like all the things that I have so far but yes okay so we also got gifted these frida no frida baby knows frida does not sucker i heard also a lot of reviews and the person that gifted all of these things to us um she's already a mom she's a first time mom as well and like i guess she thought that we do need this so <laughs> she gifted me these i heard also good reviews about this one it, it comes with one nose Frida and four hygiene filters. So pretty much, I think what I heard is like pretty much you put it like in the baby's nose and then you kind of like suck on it. But don't worry about like getting all the, you like swallowing all the stuff because it has filters. So that's what the filter is for. I'm sorry. And it's pretty much for stuffy nose. Let me see, I haven't opened it. Let me show it to you. Hold on. So it comes with four. So this comes with four hygiene filters. So this is only one, but I'm seeing that you only need like, like a small piece. I don't know if you can see it right here. I guess you open it like this. Let me see. Or not. How do you clean this though? Um, I don't know. But I guess this goes in the baby's nose and then this is like the um where you like you know, try to get everything out. And I guess everything goes here. And there you have the hip filter. And then it comes with this little one. I think you cut them, right? You cut one, two, three, four. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah. 
This is so cute. Let me see. Disposable fairytale sugar glaze and bread. Okay, I'm going to try to fresh touch school against child natural. Okay. How do I clean? Okay, to clean. Yesterday, I started to feel like the first like movement and like kick, kicks, I'm gonna say. And I was at work and I was just sitting down and I was just, it was just so cute. Like, I wanted for her to keep doing it. I was like, just keep doing it. Like, I wanna feel you. I wanna feel that you were there. Uh, it is so cute. Like, I remember I got home and I told my husband, I was like, it's just like this. I know, I don't know. I just love like feeling her. But okay, changing topics. Let me go ahead and show you the diaper bag that we choose, which is not really a diaper bag, but we're gonna use it as a diaper bag. Um, it's gonna be these. This is the base mini weekender bag. You can use it like this. And I know you're gonna say this is huge, but I love that this compartment from the bottom, you can't take it off. So let me go ahead and show you. So I thought and I really wanted for it to have this compartment in the bottom because Whenever, let's say, she's going to your grandma's or she's going somewhere, we can pack her clothes here in the bottom. Also, her shoes and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and take it off. And I think it's pretty spacious. So, here it is. And then, if I open it, we can put, whenever we're going somewhere, we can put all her clothes and shoes and like stuff like that in here so we don't have to mix it with other stuff and then let's say we're just gonna just go somewhere and we don't need that you can't remove that and then you have these back and i don't think it's a big size i think it's the perfect size in case we travel we also have this like so you can put it in the what is it called and the maleta, but I don't know how to say it in English. And your luggage. <laughs> and or you can use it as a purse because it opens and then it's like open. But if you close it, it becomes like a little bag. This is leather. And from the inside, let me go ahead and show you. I think it's pretty spacious too, which I love. Um, it is, it is pretty, pretty spacious. You can see it right here. So what I'm thinking is, this is like for your laptop, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. But what I was thinking is that I can put, um, you know, like wipes and diapers and stuff like that. Or I don't know, we have to go somewhere and we need like some kind of papers or whatever we can put it here or you can actually take it off and then you have this space right here it also has these pockets here where i can put either put more diapers and stuff like that and then here of course we're gonna have these in here which is perfect um and all the other stuff that we need then it also has these like which is supposed to be like the key for you to hang your keys but I'm gonna use it to hang the pacifier holder case. That's what it's called. Um, so yes. And I'm very happy. I love the color. I think you also have the option to get it in black and gray. But since I wanted to go like gender neutral and like stuff like that, and um, I was like, I love this color. Like I just think this color goes so well with everything. Of course, we're gonna be careful not to like make it dirty or anything. Or if anything. The material is not that bad. It's kind of like this, like, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a very good material. So this is the diaper bag we're gonna use for baby girl. So, continuing with the stuff that I have. This is like big stuff. Okay. My best friend gifted me these baby bottle sterilizer. It's from the brand Papa, Bi Papa Blick. Go ahead and show it to you. 
it has a small basket. The small basket is where you can put the pacifiers and like um, the like stuff like this, you know. And then it also has the large basket where all the bottles go. And then it has the base and the dial when you can put it to either do like sterilize, like if you need like a quick, it will be ready like I think 15 minutes. And if you want it like a good through sterilizer process, goes up to 45 minutes if I'm not mistaken. I think this is a must. And I thank my friend for giving me this. <laughs> um, so yes, okay, let me go ahead and show you the next thing that I have. Um, okay, this is huge, but another friend um, from work, she gifted me this one. I don't think I have to open it. Oh yeah, I have. It's huge. <laughs> It's like this cute little well. It is so cute. Okay, so the reason that I put this one in my baby registry is because you can use it um, through different stages. So, if you can see here, but stage one, it's for zero to three months and it has like this um, sling right here. So you can hold the baby like pretty much like the picture right here. And then it has the stage two which is from three to six months and like pretty much you remove the part that um it's gonna be holding the baby's feet so you would just end up with this one right here and then you have the stage three which is six months and up and then you get to remove all of these and then you just have um the tub the tub by itself so i think this is pretty cute and i think this is gonna be really really useful pretty much we're trying to get things that we can get the most out of use of it because i heard there's one in target and like it's really like everyone has it it's called the angel care i think but it's you can only use it pretty much when they're little so that's what i wanted this one so it has different stages um it's perfect also the the crib that we got it's gonna be good up to when she's four years old you can do a crib you can do a day bed and like an actual bed so that's what um we're going for like stuff that we can use like along the way not only when she's born okay so this is the next thing that i got and it is the little dope baby play gym it's made out of wood i really like it i'm gonna go ahead and try and show you the picture um I hope you're able to see it. My phone is a little bit cracked, but that's the vision. Or I'll try to insert a picture there. Did I close it completely? Because, of course, I already opened it. Because I wanted to see. Oh, no. Okay. So, pretty much, you assemble these. And it's this beautiful, beautiful um wood cutter and then you have this and my husband is gonna be the one in charge of building this <laughs> pretty much but let me go ahead and show you the things that come with it These are the instructions, really important. Okay, so here you get, this is to like, that I guess. So here you get these three toys. Isn't this so cute? I just can't wait for her to, to just, be playing with it and i love the color because of course like if it was a boy or a girl um you can definitely change this you can order different ones um depending on if you have a boy or a girl but it's this one. Uh oh <laughs> it turns like this and you have this cute moon it has an eye and it makes that sound that's that and then and also it comes with this is just so cute 
Oh my god, I love this. Um, I guess you just hang it and then this is like a thing that she can hold and like, you know, play with it. This is made out of wood as well. And then this one has, I think this is a horse, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very cute horse. And this one is an elephant and it comes with this one's right here. So you can pretty much move them up or down and they make like this, you know, noise. Oh, this is so adorable. I can't wait for her to be like, you know, doing tummy time and like playing with all this cute stuff that I got her. Um, let me go ahead and show you the last things that I got, which is the mattress for the crib. We already ordered the crib, but it's taking a little bit longer because I don't know what happened with Amazon people, but it's taking a little bit longer, but it should arrive here soon. Um, and we also got our stroller and our car seat. We decided to go with a Nuna brand and I'm pretty much just gonna show you the boxes. Um, I can go ahead and link the one that I use, which is the, let me go ahead and read it. Taboo Next and People RX with the relaxed base. Um, if I can, I'll insert some pictures. Um, but that's the one that we decided to go with. I honestly did a lot, a lot of research trying to figure it out which one was the best for us and the most affordable one. Um, that was the first thing we got for a baby girl. Um, since like, since we knew, which it was like, what, January? Cause it was like, the most expensive thing that we were gonna buy. So, we decided to buy it first. And uh, honestly, we loved it. We already kinda like built it and like, you know, everything and then we decided to put it back because of Kevin and all the hair. I got it in the color caviar, which is the black with like the brown leather um, holder and like, uh, it's just, it is so cute and very practical like literally you can open it with like a with one hand and then the also the car seat comes with a, like a base and that base pretty much helps the the car seat be stable in the car and it has like this bump resistant in case like you get in a car crash which hopefully not but it helps the car seat to be stable and like don't move or anything um it also has this like anti-fire something something um so that's that and the mattress that we got is the wonder boogie wonder dream mattress it is made of organic cotton so that's that let me just go ahead and show it to you real quick oh and let me show you one last thing that i got and it was a present for my sister-in-law this is, um, she got me this, it's called my pregnancy journal. Um, and over here, well, of course it has my ultrasound. And I just think this is so cute and like, it just has my heart, honestly. Cause you have everything since the big news, my first doctor visit, the first trimester, second and third planning and the big reveal, and then baby coming home pictures. Um, so pretty much here I have finding out and I put um, my, what is it called? What are these called? The my pregnancy test. Oh my god, his brain. How do we find out? How we spread the news and everything? Um, and um, things, exercising goals, my first ultrasound. And of course, I already like did it almost everything. This is the first month, how I was feeling, you know, and I decided to like just wrote all the dates in here. This is our ultrasound. This is more ultrasounds. And this is like a gift that my friend, when she gifted to me, she put like a cute note in there. So I put it here. And um, yes, this is how I plan to do the baby's room. What I want in my hospital bag and like the essential gear checklist, like what I already have. I have in purple, like the things are like my priority that I supposed to have before she is born. And then the big arrival, it also has like what you need in your hospital bag. Oh, okay. And let me show you what I was telling you about putting all the seasons and stuff. Oh, these are moments and this is like our baby announcement picture. I have all these papers here. 
This is a letter that we got from one of our um, family members and I have it here for her so she can read it whenever she is older. We also have name suggestions. Where is it? And it's in planning, so it's really planning. Oh, okay, so here. So let me go ahead and show you. It's called the Essential Clothing Checklist. And you can see right here, I don't know if you can see, but I have like, it's gonna be autumn when she's a newborn, winter, she's gonna be three to six months, spring, it's gonna be six to nine months, and summer, she's gonna be nine to 12 months. So that's how like every time I wanna buy something and I like it, I check, okay, okay. Um, not because it's cute and I'm gonna buy it, what if it's three to six months and it's gonna be winter, it's gonna be like a strapless shirt, she's not gonna be able to wear it. So that's what I decided to do before going crazy buying all that clothes. And that's that. And now let me go ahead and show you our stroller, car seat, and the mattress that we choose. This is the stroller. As you can see, it has magnetic straps to buckle up. So that's the stroller. And then this is the car seat. This is something that we had in our gender reveal. These are some pictures also that I print. And um, then this is the mattress that we decided to choose. It is organic cotton, removable and washable cover. It's antimicrobial, 100% breathable, hypoallergenic, non-toxic, um, zero harmful emission, no off gassing, or side chemicals that smell like weird when you open the box, and it's recyclable and eco-friendly, and yes. So this is the mattress for her crib. Guys, so that is all that we have so far for baby girl. Right now, we don't have names just yet. Um, honestly, we don't. Like, we've been thinking about it, and I want, like, a cool, unique name. Like, you know, mine, like, everywhere I go, you don't really, like, see somebody, or you, re you really don't hear somebody that has my name. Oh, right now. This is what um, my sister-in-law got me as our, because she was in charge of the gender when with the gender reveal. Um, this is Pandora bracelet. It is so cute. It has a pacifier and then this cute like a bottle and baby's shoes and this pink um, thing. I don't know what it's called. Bracelet thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying, we don't have names just yet. Um, and so far, this is all we got. I still have... A lot of things that I want to get and pretty much I have everything on my baby registry just so I don't forget um, we do want like a rocking chair and we also have the it's the same brand as the play gym it's called little dope baby bouncer um, also have like the diaper dispenser as well we also have some toys, more bibs, um, pacifiers, also the, what is it called? I also want to get the hatch baby for her, um, the Kikaru peanut changer um, thing, also the Snuggle Me Organic, that's something that I want as well to get, but little by little, you know, because babies are expensive and things for babies are not that expensive, but expensive <laughs> um what is it called the um, oh the high chair i want the trip trap high chair i just think it's so cute and adorable and it's just perfect because like i've mentioned before it kind of grows with her so i think that's perfect because you can use it like as a chair once you know she's two to three years old um i also want the frida baby humidifier um i also got some blackout curtains for this room because this is gonna be actually baby girl's room um nursery room or nursery um and we are sharing a closet so the closet is pretty big it's like yeah it's pretty big so half of it's gonna be mine half of it's gonna be hers um what else do i have here mm. oh yeah like this um baby car mirror so like pretty much you know, the, you know, the baby's never facing you, so it has this mirror, and then you can see the baby. Um, a haka, the bumbo floor seat in gray. A lot of diapers, because 
we got gifted some in our gender reveal thing so we already have a big box of um wipes and we have like a lot of newborn size one um pampers so that's that oh i also want this nagomi organic feeding thing and um yeah pretty much that is what we need but like i said the reason that we wanted to dec we decided to start like buying stuff or like before it was because we just did not i don't like to do like last minute things to be honest so i was like okay i want to have like the essentials like no matter what happens i don't know whatever um i at least have the essential which is a crib a car seat stroller and like you know like essential things that the baby girl is gonna need so yes and then all the other things are things that i want to get just so the nursery can look cute but that's on me um but yes so pretty much we're all set in the crib we're all set in the um what's it called and the stroller and car seat um also when she's in the shower um some clothes some toys some like essential things so thank you so much for being here um i'm a, i'm gonna be a first time mom i can't even believe saying that but yes we are so excited for this this is a whole new experience experience for us um we're so excited honestly this is such a blessing she's gonna be born in september september is my birthday it's my mom's birthday it's my brother's birthday and it is our wedding anniversary and it's also the month that um jonathan's grandma passed away and i know september is a really um difficult month for him um but i know with all these you know birthdays and celebrations and things coming i just feel that it's just because baby girl is due on the 13th and his grandma passed away on the 11th so just like imagine like how you guys know what i mean right so yes we're so excited for that um baby girl is so loved for our family members or friends and i'm just so happy for this journey um yes we just ask for god to protect this child i have my candles literally right there because we pray for her every day just to make sure that she's healthy that she's fine that she develops good and that she makes it you know because you never know what things could happen i try to take care of myself as much as i can eat as healthy as i can but you know it's sometimes it's inedible that you know you go through a miscarriage and stuff like that and i don't want to think like that but i know that it's possible and so yes we pray for her um almost every day so she's healthy and everything and um yes thank you so much for being here and if you're a new mom or expecting mom i know this is like all over the place but this is things that i got in and honestly i watched so many videos like so many videos of nurseries things you're gonna need and newborn essentials and all of that so pretty much this is what i got that it is kind of essential <laughs> at the beginning when they're newborns um and so yeah thank you so much for watching for being here i really hope you like this video and you get some you know um not inspiration but you know what i'm saying like you get some like oh i like that or oh i like that or stuff like that i'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below and i hope you have a good day a good weekend a good month because i don't even know where i'm gonna post another video and uh, yes don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do um bye guys